Welcome to Break Mitsubishi. My name is Nathan and today we're doing a walk around video on this 2020 MY20 Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross LS. Now being the LS model, it does come with a few added benefits and features which are very nicely designed and integrated into this model. So we will actually run through what exactly they are and go through the condition of the car on the outside. However, this car is pretty much a brand new car so I'm not going to touch on too much in regards to the condition as it is A1 pretty much brand new. Now starting off on the front end here, do you get that dynamic shield look on the front of this Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross? It is uh, a modern look for Mitsubishi and it is quite a stylish design. You do get all those beautiful chrome accents with that piano black gloss plate at the back there that gives it that good contrast. And in this stunning diamond red color, it is quite a striking look on the car itself and it will definitely catch your attention. Now the headlights itself are a very sleek, sharp design. They do cut across the side of the car and you've got projector globes and indicator lamps fitted in the car as well as your daytime running lights through the bottom end there. Now, indicator is fitted in the front bar and your um, fog lights for those cloudy, foggy mornings. Now, there is a split grille look in this car. It does allow for that extra airflow through to the motor. Keep it really nice and cool for that 1.5 litre turbo uh, petrol engine. Now, as we come across the side of the car, pay attention to all the accents and angles on the car itself. It is all designed for a reason and it's not just put there for the sake of looking pretty, but it does provide that aerodynamic design and helps with fuel consumption and economy as well. Now the tyres and rims are a stunning striking look. Do get a polished aluminium on the outside and a piano black gloss on the inner part of the rim. Gives, gives it a very contrast look and it is a very nice five spoke multi-spoke design. Now the car, the tyres sorry are Toyo Proxes and they are pretty much brand new at the time of this video. Um, and they do present really well. Now at the bottom end here, have a chrome finish at the bottom that again integrates with the rest of the chrome look around the car. It does have a plastic bottom there which is just going to protect anything serious or expensive from getting damaged like a door trim if stone sh stones do fly up. Now opening up the driver's side door and taking a look inside the LS model, I do get very comfortable seats, very nice pattern on the seats as well which do have small little diamonds to keep in line with that three diamonds that Mitsubishi have gone with their symbol. Um, now the seats present in very good condition. The bolsters are very firm, uh, very comfortable fitting seats as well. Not going to touch on again the condition because it is A1 condition, brand new. But the seat bolsters look, hug you nicely. They're not too tight. They're not too loose. You're not going to be rolling around the car. Carpets are in very good condition and the inner lining of the door is actually kept uh, very well. Now the door itself goes all the way to the bottom as you can see. It does keep um, this inner part of the door nice and clean when you are getting in and out of the car You're not going to be picking up dirt and dust on your pants Closing this up being the LS model it does come with privacy glass It's not actually tint but it does provide a bit of privacy for passengers in the back seat or any stuff that you might store in the back it Doesn't actually provide any UV protection or heat reduction um, that tint can provide So please talk to us about these options because you do want to keep it uh, keep everyone nice and safe and protected And with the amount of glass in this car you want to make sure you're um, kept well uh, protected from the sun as well. Now it will also match up the front and back and we do use the darkest legal tint uh, which does look quite nice on this red color. Opening up the back seats just so you can have a look again. Seats present really well. You can also adjust these rear seats with this little latch here so you do get an incline if needed and you can move these seats forward and back as you can see. Now the seats are a 60-40 split in the tailgate so if you do need a bit of extra storage on the back of the car you can uh, adjust accordingly. The second wheel again pretty much unmarked, no damage whatsoever and plenty of tread on those Toyo Proxes. Coming across to the tailgate, this is one of the most unique designs in the small SUV range at the moment. Now it is a split grill look, it, uh, sorry, split tailgate. It does provide a lot of visibility for the driver in the car uh, to see what's actually behind them. Um, and as I mentioned before, a lot of glass in this car, it is to provide that extra visibility. Now it is quite a unique style and design, um, but it is all functional. You got your brake lamp that does cut across the tailgate itself um, and around the side and up the tailgate um, of the boot. You do get a high, uh, sorry, tailgate, uh, rear wipers and washers as well. Sorry, I just had a mental blank there. As well as the chrome finishes on the Eclipse Cross and Mitsubishi badging. And you've also got color match rear parking sensors along the bottom bar there with the reverse camera mounted just underneath. Opening up the tailgate itself, plenty of space in the back of this car. It does come fitted with a space saver spare wheel just underneath there, never been used obviously and all the jack and tools required for it. Um, the LS model does come fitted with factory with a uh, 
cargo liner, which is gonna keep everything nice and safe and private in the back of the car if you maybe keep your laptop or groceries or toilet paper these days, really. And closing that up, you can see how much space there is in the back of the car. You've got a few tie down points and uh, child seat mounting points for the little ones. Closing this up, as we come across the passenger side, fuel filler cap is on the passenger side, which is a safe side. So if you do need to pull over in case of an emergency, you know, you're gonna be nice and safe. And keep paying attention to the paintwork and the actual curves and um, design in this car. It is very striking and stunning. Now in this red color, you do wanna make sure you protect, and, uh, protect it and preserve it. So please talk to us about our glass coat option, which we can tie into a beautiful package with the tint. And it is gonna give you a lifetime warranty on this beautiful diamond red paintwork. And let's be honest you do want to keep it looking this striking all the way through your ownership now the you've got four unmarked rims plenty of tread remaining on the tires and stunning paintwork around the car what we're going to do now is actually pop the hood and take a look inside okay having a look inside the engine bay of the eclipse cross ls what we have here is a mitsubishi's four cylinder 1.5 liter turbo petrol motor it is going to make the ride really nice and smooth but also give you that response with that turbo when you do need it car does come fitted with a strut brace which will provide that stability and control on the front of the car especially around cornering and turning. Now the car does have a eight speed automatic gearbox, again, adding to that smooth ride and comfortable ride of the Eclipse Cross. So do come test drive these because you will love it. The car itself has a five star ANCAP rating with seven airbags, so plenty of safety for the passengers inside the car. This motor itself produces 110 kilowatts with 250 Newton meters of torque, so plenty of torque and power for the size of the car. It does, have, uh, does run on a petrol motor with a 63 litre fuel tank and it does run on your regular 91 fuel which is nice and cheap at the moment. It does have a combined fuel consumption of 7.3 litres per 100 kilometres and an average fuel distance of about 863 kilometres off a full tank depending on how you drive and how many people are in the car. Okay, take a look inside the Eclipse Cross LS. As you can see, it's very striking interior. The actual um, design of it is based off what Lexus has designed for their cars. And if you take a look at it, it is a very nice, classy look. And in my opinion, again, probably one of the nicer ones on the insides uh, for the Mitsubishi line. Now, starting off on the driver's side door, do get a very nice leather stitch center, uh, armrest, which had a uh, handle here, which is quietly, uh, quite nicely positioned, I gotta say, actually. It's not too far, not too close to the actual armrest. Above that are your side mirror toggles. Now, there is a little button here to actually fold in and out the side mirrors if you need to, and all the controls for adjusting it um, for your preference. On the um, door cut itself, you've got full, uh, power windows now they are fully automatic up and down for all four windows driver's side and passengers but that is the window lock to stop anyone from playing around with the windows and your central locking button just next to that on the right side of the dash are some of the safety features that do come in the Mitsubishi line so firstly on the right side is your forward collision mitigation um, now that is going to intervene if the car senses you're about to meet in an accident um, now if you do need more information on what these are please ask us and talk to us about these because we will elaborate on these when you do come in you've also got your lane departure warning which will notify you if you are veering off the lane and your stability control button just next to that below that a bit of a uh, few blank uh, spots if you do want to add anything on the car it does come with parking sensor sonar and a little uh, toggle to adjust the height of your headlights if they are tilting a bit higher than usual now on the steering wheel itself and the steering column on the right hand stock are your left and right indicators your high beam and your fog lamp controls and the headlight controls now the headlights are dusk sensing automatic headlights so you can just leave it in auto the car is going to decide when it needs to use it and turn it on now in addition to that it does also have high beam um, automatic high beam in this model on the left hand side are your wipers and washers um, for your front and rear again they are automatic systems so they are rain sensing you can just leave it in auto and the car is going to decide how frequently the blade needs to actually move and if it needs to be on now the steering wheel itself is a very comfortable leather stitch center uh, steering wheel it is very nice soft leather and quite easy to grip as well uh, beautiful stunning classy design on the right hand side are your cruise control options this is your cruise control on and off and your rest and set controls and a speed limiter and on the left hand side are your media controls for the head unit with your call and reject and voice control for your car play now behind that if you can notice it does have paddle shifts in the car which are for your sports shift system again we can um, elaborate a bit more on how this will actually work when you do come in and we can demonstrate it for you as well on the left hand side being a keyless entry car probably the most important button is your stop start button um, keys can sit within proximity of the cabin and this will be able to turn on coming over to the center console we've got a really nice touchscreen head unit just at the top there very very nicely positioned so you can see it quite clearly now as i mentioned it is touchscreen so you can flick through everything just using that and the 
uh, head unit itself has your Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, so your CarPlay systems, digital radio, AM, FM radio, phone connectivity, and Bluetooth connectivity in the car. Now with the CarPlay, um, your maps will also run through that system as well as your Spotify music and any additional stuff like your texting, WhatsApp and calls will run through that as well when the phone is actually plugged in. Below that, two vents, um, all your indicators for the seat belts, nice, ha nice and easy to access hazard button and below that is your temperature on your left hand side and your fan speed on the right hand side for your AC system. Below that, two extra blank spots for any additional stuff that you might want to store on the car. Um, eco mode for saving you a little bit of fuel if you do want to use that. Two USB inputs for the phone connectivity and a 12 volt socket for any additional charging that you might be doing. Below that is a bit of storage with the rubber lining. Now that's going to stop things from sliding around and making a lot of noise. Now if I bring this into reverse, just above there you can see the really nice clear rear view camera that does come in the car. Rear bias just along the bottom there, very nice and clear to see. And it is very, uh, very good clarity in the actual reverse camera, which you don't really see in a lot of cars these days. Now, if I bring it down into drive and flick it to the left, this is a sports shift system. So you can flick up gears and flick down gears um, if you wanted a bit more control of the car. And you can also use the paddles on the steering wheel itself. Bring it back into drive if you just want the car to do it everything for you. Now, one of the nicest features in the Eclipse Cross, in my opinion, is this little trackpad here, which is actually for your head unit. Now, you can actually control it using the trackpad, and I reckon it is a lot more easy to use than your actual touchscreen, especially while you're driving, because it can be quite distracting. Now, it will take you probably a good couple minutes just to get used to how this will operate, but it is very easy to use and quite simple. Do recommend taking advantage of this design. Behind that, in the LS model, you do get electric park brakes, so very easy to turn on and off. Just flick it up and flick it down, as well as the auto hold to hold you at the lights. Next set are two generous cup holders, a nice leather stitch center console armrest. If I raise that up, you can see the amount of storage that you do get in there. There is a little compartment that you can pull in and out if you do want to keep coins or keys, whatever it might be, and your wallet maybe just at the bottom there. Now, I'll get the camera person to pan around the inside of the car. As I said before, it is a pretty much a brand new car so I don't need to touch on the condition but look at the seats and the design in themselves um, very comfortable look the headrests in the back are uh, you can lift them up and down you've got car seat mounting points for the rear seats and they are fully adjustable seats that you can move back and forward and on an incline if needed roof lining is very clean the car just presents very well and very nice car to drive so I do recommend you at least come in and test drive one of these now what we're going to do is actually jump outside and wrap up this video Thank you so much for watching the walk around video on this 2020 MY20 Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross LS. Now, I hope this gave you a good representation as to the condition on the outside, but as I mentioned before, it is pretty much a brand new car. You don't need to run into too much detail in regards to that, as well as the features and stunning design in this model. Now, if you did have any additional questions in regards to the car, wanted to test drive it or purchase it before you came in, you can do that. Now, the number to dial is 99070555. Just before I go though, this car does qualify for our premium mechanic, oh, sorry, Platinum One mechanical plan, which is going to give you like for like new car warranty on this stunning car. It does also come with the added benefit of 10 years, uh, five years additional um, protection up to 200,000 kilometers and 10 years platinum roadside assistance with that. So, if you do a bit of traveling or driving around, it is going to make sure you're secure and nice and safe and not left in a sticky situation. In addition to that, I do highly recommend you take advantage of the glass coat and tint option, which is going to give you a lifetime warranty on this beautiful, striking diamond red paint work as well as protection for all the passengers in the car with that tint. Now these are at an additional cost. However, if you are using our in-house finance, I would love to introduce you to our business managers, Julie and Mario, who show just how minimal diesel affect your repayments. Now lastly, but most importantly, please check out our Google reviews. There were 1,100 reviews and sitting at 4.8 stars, kind of gives you the assurance that you're dealing with the right people and the right kind of business for a good quality vehicle. Now, as I mentioned before, if you did have any additional questions, the number to dial is 9907 My name is Nathan and thank you so much for watching.